Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for February 22nd, 2019. It's Friday. Everyone loves a Friday. And as you can see, the market is just continuing to stay in this bullish trend. Nothing in this trend suggests uh, bearishness just yet. Yesterday, we certainly had a little bit of a rough day and a little bit of choppiness came into the market. We had some bad um, um, housing numbers yesterday that kind of tossed the market around a little bit. But doggone it, you know, the market, well, the bulls just don't seem to care. We Remember, we had some bad retail numbers come out um, uh, last week, and the market didn't seem to care about that either. So we have um, a really strong trend going on here, and we are looking at a gap up open this morning of more than triple digits, uh, more than 100 points in this gap up this morning on the Dow. So it's possible that we could cap um, nine straight weeks if we take a weekly chart. Look here, here's a weekly chart of the diamonds. Nine straight weeks of straight up rally could possibly be capped off today if we can close um, this market bullishly today. And uh, right now, every reason to believe that is going to occur. Um, there was, uh, the, the futures were a little bit, uh, kind of in the doldrums last night after yesterday's price action. But then a report came out that um, US-China trade deal may be getting closer. Really didn't have any details in it, which was, you know, there, I don't know, there wasn't much in that report, but that certainly inspired um, the futures last night to really start to rally. Um, uh, late last night around uh, midnight, uh, my time, started to rally um, really strongly, and, and they're holding that uh, this morning. So, if we take a look at the chart, we still have to respect price resistance. As you can see, we have a price resistance right in here. And as of this morning, even the gap up is not going to break through that resistance this morning. If it does happen to break, keep in mind we do have another resistance level and by the way it's not a it, it's not an odd pattern to to see a resistance level in a chart let me just draw this out to have a resistance level in a chart see the price pop up through that resistance level okay and then experience a little bit of a struggle up here you know that's how um, you know potential shooting star tops and things um, can can be um, uh, printed and then see um, failure so remember we can cross through and still fail uh, just keep that in mind and here's a great example right here of that uh, very thing where we cross through that resistance level but are unable to hold on to that resistance level for the failure. So kind of keep that in mind. We have climbed over 4,200 points here in the Dow in nine weeks. So uh, a little rest or pullback would not be a surprise. So just kind of keep that in mind as you think about your risk heading into the weekend. Um, I know I, for fact, will be probably a take well, not probably. I will, um, if the opportunity arises in the positions that I hold, to take profits um, on a Friday morning gap up heading into a weekend. Um, you can count on the fact that I will be um, unwrapping that gift and taking it to the bank. So uh, that's kind of my plan today rather than chasing any stocks uh, late, so late here in the rally. Let's take a look at the SPY real quick, SPY. SPY holding up very, very well. Again, little little back and forth there yesterday, but nothing to really be concerned about at all. The trend is still up, and you can see this morning, we are gapping up this morning. We are still well below this resistance level up here, this uh, kind of heavy duty triple top resistance level up here. But the bulls are in control. Anything is possible here. And um, we could see an attack of that resistance level without question. So kind of keep an eye on that, but always respect price resistance in a chart. Let's take a look at um, the cues. 
The Qs struggle just a little bit more than the other indexes, and it's it's fighting this resistance area right here. And as you can see, the Qs are looking for a gap up open this morning as well. Some bullishness coming in. Um, to that so we'll want to watch this resistance level right here if we happen to pop on through there keep in mind we still have that potential we can break through those resistance levels and come right back down so respect these resistance levels in the chart as we move up toward those those prices let's take a look at iwm IWM faltered but very little yesterday just really didn't care all that much and really the the trade deal doesn't affect um, too many of the stocks here in, in um, IWM. They're, the majority of them, the vast majority, would be completely domestic companies. So they have been able to uh, rally really strongly. Once again, I just think we're extended here um, in this chart and we're want, wanting to um, you know, just kind of focus in on these resistance levels and make sure um, you're not chasing too late into a rally. Let's take a look at of the VIX. The VIX showed us a little bit of a rally yesterday, uh, trying to pick up not much. You know, we had just a little bit of fear creeping in it. it there at one point when the when the housing numbers came out and um, we had a strong move down and, and that fear started to perk up. But once again, those bulls fighting back um, have defended that really, really well. So really not much coming in here in the way of fear but something we always want to pay attention to if that fear does start to creep up if we see some sales now um, I want to remind everyone of, of um, what we want to look for in in a chart before um, the market open here remember a gap up open as we approach a resistance level a gap up open we want to make sure that we see buyers that actually support that price so I'm going to go to a 15 minute chart and what I'm talking about in here is I don't want to see a gap up open that looks like this we gap up and then we immediately begin to see those sellers not supporting that gap and we push back down so we want to be careful about chasing a, a morning gap what we want to see in a chart is we want to see something like this. We want to see the bulls after this gap up hold on to that gap and then show buyers stepping in to support that gap open. So kind of keep that in mind as we um, come into the into the morning um, open. We want to make sure not to chase a big gap open like this until we see buyers actually coming in to support that gap to uh, move it on higher. And I, and I fully expect that can happen today, that they can move it on higher. Just wanted to point that out to be careful about chasing that first morning pop and you know kind of succumbing to that fear of missing out oh my gosh i got i have to rush i have to jump in right here at the open let's take a look at um t21 22. t21 22 is a four week new high new low ratio and if you take a look at t21 22 on this line chart you can see we are still up here in this bearish reversal zone and, and I, I i've repeated this several times um I can't remember a time um, in, in, in all, the, all the years I've been following T2122, we have been able to hold um, such an extreme level for so long in the market. So that gives me cause to be, uh, uh, be a little bit careful, respect those resistance levels, and um, it makes me want to just be a little bit cautious and being really really focused on price action if i see any kind of a stumble happen in the market um, to be um, looking at those reasons to take profits and protect my capital let's take a uh, look at um, our economic calendar for today our economic calendar here we go is a light calendar day surprisingly oh darn it there we go surprisingly light calendar day today and as you can see um in this calendar almost everything in here is just fed speaker it's a parade of fed speakers today so one two three four five six fed speakers today and we have the baker hughes uh, rig count um, other than that which is not expected to move the market at all 
So unless a Fed speaker says something um, that, um, you know, is caustic to the market, I, I wouldn't expect um, the uh, the market to have much of any concern uh, with those at all. So keep an eye on that. So everyone, hey, it's Friday and I want to wish you guys a fantastic weekend. You know, we had just, we've had a tremendous couple of months here of price action and great profits. So I want to wish you all another great day in the market. Remember to take some of those profits. Remember, don't let greed get in the way of taking those profits. And hey guys, if this is the first time you've seen this video, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Thank you so much for those who do that. Um, you'll never know how much that means to me. Um, your comments um, just really help this channel grow and um, the whole idea behind this channel is just traders helping traders and that preparation for the day um, I think is, is very very important so if you agree please feel free to share this video with anyone out there post it on Facebook anything to help um, help us um, transfer this information to more folks thank you everyone who does help um, in that effort so let's take a look at some charts that may be of interest um, and things you might want to start focusing on for your watch list maybe for next week um, I I gotta tell you um, Nvidia Nvidia is really starting to interest me here I had a good earnings report it's still in this bottoming pattern as you can see here and if we look at our moving averages um, we've crossed above that 50-day moving average all of our shorter term moving averages have crossed up that 50 providing a nice little moving average squeeze area here and even though it pulled back yesterday I've got some interest here in NVIDIA and possibly uh, an opportunity to take this trade higher. Clearly there's certain resistance levels in this chart that we have to respect and pay attention to, but NVIDIA is looking pretty darn good and that rounded bottom breakout pattern that I like to trade is really starting to show nicely here and something I want to kind of keep an eye on. So what I've done is I've placed an alert here on the chart. If that can pop up through there, I will certainly be looking at NVIDIA for a possible trade. like the chart a lot. Um, take a look at BBBY. BBBY breaking a long-term downtrend here, as you can see. Uh, popping up through this long-term downtrend, moving through that area, and then resting, pulling back, holding on to its trend. So as this moves over, closer to its trend I want to watch this for the potential of that follow through and a move on up to test the next resistance levels BBBY looking pretty good in um, in that chart I think Facebook Facebook has some interest to me but I'm being a little bit careful right now on it Facebook has uh, gapped up big on earnings this is a very very controlled pullback as you can see it's just almost systematic in this pullback if that can continue to slide across here holding on to this price support I would be a little bit interested in Facebook if it starts to pop up from here. So it's one for the list. It, it's not ready yet. Um, it's nowhere close to being ready yet. But um, a little more consolidation across this line right in here. If that holds, the longer that holds, the better this chart um, um, starts to form up for me. And I will be watching for a potential entry off of that price support. So I like that chart as well. CLF, CLF, I've mentioned this one a couple of times. CLF had this nice rally, strong rally, and this pullback. This is a pattern, by the way, guys, um, just for a little, um, a little price action education here um, oftentimes when you see a stock move up so strongly when we get that pullback this first candle anymore uh, that pops up often gets sold into I'm, I'm seeing that pattern a lot so be careful if we get that strong move up in a, in a relatively uh, steep pullback that that first candle can often be a, a signal of entry but also often um, 
um, get sold into, and particularly if it is still away from its bigger trend. So we, we still have this opportunity that CLF could slide sideways over toward this trend before it moves. Now here's the good thing about this pattern. If you happen to jump and enter on that first candle, keep in mind they tend to hold the price support. So even though it may pull back and you may have to suffer a little bit of a consolidation still, a little bit of sliding sideways, hopefully they'll continue to hold that price support where you would normally place that stop. Uh, it's a pattern that uh, I've been seeing a lot lately, particularly after stock has made a pretty significantly strong move to the upside. So CLF is one to pay attention to and one I really like. I'm still staying pretty focused here on Apple. Apple sliding in this really tight consolidation, waiting for a possible entry here on Apple. Whether it happens this week, I don't know, but Apple is looking pretty good. And by the way, I mentioned this yesterday. This line doesn't mean anything yet. Uh, current trend in this chart is right here. So Apple could slide all the way over. I placed this line trying to look for um, a new entry into that or a new trajectory of that trend. But so far, nothing there. There is your trend. And we could slide all the way over to that trend before it goes. So with that, everyone, I um, hope you um, have some charts for your list and a few things to kind of keep an eye on. I want to wish everyone a fantastic weekend. Enjoy your time off. We got, um, you know, so much of the time we get so overwhelmed um, during the week in price action. And particularly if you're struggling, take that time to, to just relax. Do a little studying. Focus in on that price action. Um, do a little work like that. That will pay great dividends um, in the future if you continue those efforts. Everyone take care. Have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning. Take care now.